Sterling Savings Bank of Eugene sends best wishes to Chip Kelly for a terrific season of Ducks football. This is Blunt. Aguero Blunt into the secondary. Hurdles a man. Muscles his way to the end zone. The Oregon Ducks enter 2009 with a couple new looks. And we're not just talking about new uniforms. Chip Kelly takes over as head coach of a very successful program. And while a change in regime could leave room for uneasiness, it's business as usual in Eugene. <laughs> Garrett Blunt is in the ball game, but it's Jeremiah Masoli. Oh, is oh. the keeper by the quarterback. Heads for the end zone. Jeremiah Masoli and the Ducks put on a show against Oklahoma State in the 2008 Holiday Bowl. Fans have come to expect that kind of showing from Oregon's prolific offense, and this year won't be any different. There's a new head coach calling the shots, but Chip Kelly won't make changes to a system that's worked so well for so many years. I'm very aware of the fact that we won 10 games last year and finished ninth in the country, so you know it's not like you had to come in and make wholesale changes. Of, you know, we're not doing things the right way. They've, they've been doing things the right way at Oregon for a long, long time. LeGarrette Blount rushed for over 1,000 yards as the number two back last season. He moves into a larger role this year with the departure of Jeremiah Johnson. But the success of the running game depends on the ability of the offensive line to rebound after losing key players to the NFL. The same can be said on the defensive line. The Ducks lost three-fourths of their interior, including Pac-10 sack leader Nick Reed. The Ducks might lack household names, but there's no shortage of talent on this roster, which means another successful season in Eugene. Week one gives the Ducks a chance to avenge last year's 37-32 loss to Boise State. They face their first packed an opponent in late September. Oregon's regular season schedule concludes with the annual Civil War rivalry against Oregon State in Eugene. When Chip Kelly arrived in Eugene two years ago, he installed a spread offense that led to some pretty impressive numbers. Now, as he takes over as the Ducks head coach, he knows he has to continue that success. I think it's kind of like if you watch uh, the Tour de France, you know, it, when you pedal to get up the hill, when you're going downhill, you still keep pedaling if you want to be in front. So there's no cruising going on in Eugene. There's not much of a transition period either partly because most of the coaching staff stayed intact. That and the fact that Kelly won't make changes to an offense that outrushed all but one school in the country and averaged nearly 42 points per game. The biggest difference the players notice is Kelly's in-your-face attitude. He's been really good. Uh, a lot of guys respect him. Uh, he brings a different mentality to the game. He's real. He's an East Coast-minded guy, um, real loud. Practices are a little louder and faster now. Kelly prefers a fast-paced tempo on the field. It fits his personality and follows the only piece of advice former head coach Mike Bellotti offered. Really, he told me to, to be myself. You know, he went through this, uh, you know, 14, 15 years ago when Rich Brooks left to go to the NFL and the St. Louis Rams, and then Mike went from offensive coordinator head coach and said, you know, you don't have to do things the way I did them. You know, you just be yourself. The Ducks hope to rediscover their identity on defense after finishing dead last in the conference in pass defense and 111th in the country last season. Oregon's heralded group of DBs took the blame for giving up major yards. We really didn't give up a lot of deep balls and big plays. Um, that's really a misconception of this, the season of the, the secondary. We gave up a lot of big, big plays, but really it was just a lot of yards after catch that really hurt us. Corner Walter Thurman III, a key returner for the Ducks, ended the season with five interceptions. He bristles at the notion the secondary let down the Ducks. We were supposed to be a secondary that wasn't supposed to give any yards, but it's not just four guys out there defending the pads, it's 11 guys. I think pass defense is a combination of all 11 people. It's not just the secondary. You know, you can, no one can be in coverage for a long time. It's, a, it's about generating more pressure on a passer. 